Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's Brood. Sidney sprang another surprise on Mama and Papa when he brought a man to see Papa, uh, Mr. Grenville, who wants to buy the factory, both the uniform and knee pads department. The shock to Papa and Mama can't be measured, and we find them now in Papa's office together with Sam. Uh, I don't know what to do, what to say, or how to act. Right the thought of a cloudy sky, the man wants to buy the business. Like I don't know what to say either. Right now, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. That's right, Papa. My head is going around like a winding mill. Ah, uh, windmill, Mama. All right, Jack. They are both going around. Yeah. Sam? Yes, Becky? What do you think? I just said I don't know. The man is coming back here this morning with Sidney and Harold. And we are going to have to give him an answer that we ain't got. An answer that we ain't ever going to have. Sam, we won't sell the business. To take a vacation is all right, but when the vacation is over, we will always have something to do. But without the business, no. No. Well, what are we going to tell the man? Uh, if we don't sell... Maybe we are worried later that we could have got a good price. Mm. If we do sell, then maybe we will worry later that the price wasn't big enough. Oi, I'm a big headache from the top to the bottom. I could tear out my hair. Sam, how can you say that? You ain't got any hair. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe we're looking at things in the wrong way. That's right, Papa. Sam, if a man comes to you and wants to buy something you got, but you want to keep it, there ain't a law that says you should sell. So if you don't want to, you don't. If you do, you do. Mama, we said the same thing before, only we didn't use so many words. What we are worried about now is the price. If you're not going to sell, you should worry about the price. Sure we should. Well, the business is up to you, Jake, and to you, Sam. I am going to look at a magazine. Mama, how can you look at picture books at a time like this? Jake, I can't do nothing. I'm just sitting here so that you shouldn't go all the way crazy. For 25 years, he didn't keep me from going crazy. Don't be silly. If you're crazy now, they'd have put you away. Never mind, Mama, never mind. <laughs> what time is it, Sam? What time? Uh, half past ten. The man will be here in a couple minutes. Oh, he is me and still we oh, don't know. Papa, <laughs> you shouldn't get so excited. That's and so. you shouldn't need a Sam. Because it's like I always say. People worry a whole lot about what to do. They worry so much they don't have time to think. And when they ain't got time to think, then they do things all wrong. Just let things figure themselves out. Mama, could a 20-year-old business figure out the price for itself? Maybe. Maybe. Becky, please, we are very nervous and aggravated men. I know that, Sam, I know that. And I'm saying, don't... Mama, worry. please stop looking at that magazine and help us think. Jack, darling, the business belongs to you and Sam. I don't have nothing to do with it. Then why did you come here? Maybe to see that you and Sam didn't do something wrong. I see, Mama, I see. You don't have anything to do with the business, but you come here so that Sam and me... Did be... uh, never mind. Why do I always repeat what you say? Why should you ask a question like that at a time but, like this? <laughs> oh, please stop it, Jake. Are we or ain't we? No. No. Mm -hmm. So you've come to a concussion, huh? Good. Now I feel better. Where is that man? Why don't he come? Just a minute ago he was coming too soon and now he's late already before he is late. <laughs> I feel better already. Hmm. Papa, you ain't got your shoes off. What? Oh, <laughs> no, Mama, no. You know, sometimes I can feel good with my shoes on, too. <laughs> oh, that's good, Jake. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> I jump every time I hear that. Papa, answer the, uh, the, uh, the thing. Mama, anything that I paid this much money for ain't a thing. It's a dictaphone. 
Pop, are you afraid to answer it? No, Mama, no, not now. <laughs> Hello? Yes, yes, Sydney, we're here. Good? Yes, yes, we've made up our minds. <laughs> you and Hell bring the man in. Yeah, good. Yeah. Well, so that is that. You are going to tell the man, Jake? Oh, no, you are the salesman. You tell the man, Sam. Am I going to sell him something? Why should you argue about that? Just say no to the man. Mama, you just can't say no to a businessman. It takes time to do a thing like this. I should have a fancy office like this and just say no to a man. I, uh, uh, here we are, Mr. Grenville. Hello, everybody. Hello, Sidney. Hello. 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 Miss Bloom, I'm happy to see you again. You ain't half as happy as Pop and Sam. Well, that sounds encouraging. You've made up your minds, Pa and Sam? Yes, Hal, we have made up our minds. Uh, good. Uh, then we can get right down to business. Mm, maybe it's better that I should leave. Uh, a business office is no place for a woman. No, 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 Mama. No, you stay right here. Now, Mr. Grenville... Perhaps uh, we better get a few of the details ironed out before we talk price. Uh, Mr. Fink was telling me... Yeah, excuse me, Mr. Grenville. I'll tell him. You see, Pa and Sam, Mr. Grenville owns a small business, a uniform business. He knows that we've got contracts for those military schools. Now, he wants to buy us out completely. Is that right, Sid? Yeah, that's right. You see, Pa and Sam, since you're both going to take a vacation, we thought it would be a good thing... Wait a minute, thing. Sidney. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Perhaps I can explain a little further. No, no, never mind, Mr. Grenville, never mind. <laughs> Sam and me, we have decided that if for 20 years we have kept the business... We may just as well keep it for another 20 years. Ah, then you're not going to sell? But I thought you'd made your minds up. We have, we have. Do we have to make up our minds the way you want them? You're passing up a great opportunity, Mr. Bloom. Maybe, maybe, but thanks anyway, thanks. That decision is final? Absolutely. Well, that's that. But I think I'll stay around town for a few more days. You may think it over a little more and change your mind. So, uh, good day. Oh, wait, Mr. Granville. Harold and I will go with you. Pa, you sure you're not making a mistake? Absolutely, I'm sure. <laughs> Ain't we, Seth? That very much emphatically. Very well. Good day. And I'll be in Mr. Sheffbane's office for a little while, uh, just in case. <laughs> That's nice, Mr. Grenville. That's nice. Uh, but I don't think there'll be any cases. Well, come on, sir, yeah. Mr. Grenville. Goodbye, Mrs. Bloom. Goodbye. Uh, thanks Goodbye. for meeting me, Mr. Grenville. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Me? What am I laughing I'm laughing because it was so easy. So now we won't be bothered anymore. <laughs> Papa. Yes, Mama? For how much would you sell the factory? Sell it? But that's all over with. We're I not know, Jake, I know. But if you was putting a price on the factory, what would you say? Why, Becky? I'm just asking a civilized question. Mama, you've got something up your sleeve. Jake, that's foolish. Tricks I don't do like a musician. A magician, Mama. Yeah, a magician. You ain't answered my question. Well, how can I, Becky? How can I? To give a price, I'll have to figure how much the machinery costs, the material on hand, the property, everything. All right, Jake. Just for the sake of our argument, give our guess at a price. High enough so that you don't lose money. Well, uh, um, maybe $500,000. Maybe $600,000. That would be a good profit. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right, Jake. So I want you should call Sidney's office what? and tell the man that you'll sell the whole place for $800,000. Sam, Sam, get back here, drink of water, quick. I'm not toasty, Jake, and don't be smart like that. $800,000? Oh, vey, what a profit that would be. Only a crazy man would buy at that price. All right, I'll tell you. Maybe the man will keep coming around asking you to sell the factory. Mm -hmm. So you'll be bothered all the time. You'll worry and worry until you're aggravated. So you should put a big price on the factory so the man will go away. And then you'll have no more worries. Hmm. Mama, I think you've got something there. He will laugh his head off when you say $800,000. So we will be making him feel good then. Jay, <laughs> call Sidney. <laughs> That's a good joke, Becky. A man with a little business could pay maybe 500000 But eight? <laughs> all right, all right. And when you hear a loud bump, that will be the man hitting the floor. <laughs> Sidney and Harold will jump out the window. Do you really think so? Sam, don't be like that. Yeah, and that... Oh, uh, hello. Hello, Sydney. Sydney, this is Papa. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sydney, is the man still there? Good. All right, Sydney. I want that you should tell him that we want to sell. No, 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 no. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The price is $800,000. Hello, Sydney, you still there? Yes, you heard me all right. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you should have heard it. <laughs> Did he sound funny? He will tell the man, yeah? Yeah, sure, sure. The man will go home quick. And sick, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet they're calling back to see maybe I was joking. And I am. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, still Papa. Sydney, before you say something, tell me something. Is the man still there? He is? Uh, wait a minute. 
The man's still there. I bet he can't get up. <laughs> Hello, Sidney. Is he going to leave soon? He, 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 what? 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 He's coming in here. What for? He's coming in here with the comp the, the paper. The, but what for? Oh, really? What happened? Oh, wait, Sam. Uh, Sidney. Sidney, did, did I hear you right? The man, the man said the price was all right. You, look, Sidney, you called me back. I, I'm weak. Very weak. <laughs> Jake. Jake, pinch me. Oh, I should hit myself over the head. Eight hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> what a price. Then you will sell, Papa? Sell? Mama, at that price, I would sell the whole of New York City. <laughs> but you, Sam, you, you, well, you. Well, <laughs> maybe I was going to retire for good anyway. Eight hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> I'm a real businessman. Jake, it was Becky who put that price. The be Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, uh, Mama, why did you do that? Why? How rich I can, Sam, I'll tell you. I'm looking at this magazine, looking at the pictures. Mama, never mind the magazines. Before the man comes in here with the papers, tell us why did you set that price? Jake, stop interrupting me. Interrupting, Mama. One or the other, you did it again. Ah, uh, you... But I am looking in the magazine and I see this picture right here. You see? That's Mr. Grenville. Sure, sure it is. And I got eyes, Sam. So I see it is Mr. Grenville, and right underneath the picture it says that he is vice president of the Mola Textile Industries. The Mola Tech? Sam, the biggest company like that in the country, up in Connecticut. Mama, how did you know? Jake, right underneath the picture I'm telling you in printing, it says Walter Grenville, vice president of the largest manufacturing concern dealing in uniforms. I read it. That's how I know. And you... But how about the price? Jake, I am coming to that graduating. So I said to myself, there is something wrong when a big man pretends to be a little one. Only one thing will make him do that. He don't want to pay too much for something he wants to buy. Mama. Yes, Jack? You should sit in this chair. This should be your office. Don't be foolish, Jake. Who would do the cooking at home? But if the man is pretending to be a little businessman, then he's hiding something. So I said, make the price big. If he wants the factory bad enough to pretend, he'll pay a big price. So this is that? Mama, I love you. Well, now we won't have to go to Hollywood on the train. Uh, what? Now that you don't have to be right back on the spot, Jake, we can take our time. We are going to drive in the car. Oi.